projects. How does this year compare to the other years? Well, this year is again very well organized. Uh, it's again a wonderful opportunity to meet uh, all the important actors of the uh, transportation sector worldwide, which is huge. Uh, I must say that this year the theme is uh, apparently much broader uh, transport in a changing world than the previous years. But at the same time, it also gives the opportunity to approach uh, uh, various aspects and try to understand how they are interlinked with each other. So in a way it is a dangerous theme, but it is a much more interesting interesting theme uh, if we go uh, deeper in the discussions. So I'm very happy to be here once again. We can have an emerging trend which is the globalization of economy. And economy is mobility and mobility is transport. So actually if we see that there is a link uh, uh, to uh, liaise actually the uh, development of transportation and the evolution of the GDP and the evolution of changes in the world, we have the theme. Yeah, a big emphasis has been on mobility and the practicality of transport, I suppose, and how it meshes into the daily life of... But how exactly is the union and the railways affected in detail? Well, railways is one mode of transportation, and obviously it's a mode with capacity, uh, with long distance, with safety, and with sustainability. So we have a number of added values in this optimization. And it means that for us, and for a number of uh, stakeholders now, in this uh, logistical change for freight or passenger, rail can be the backbone of a master scheme of transportation, with hubs or dry ports for freight, with stations in the cities for the interfacing between various modes of transportation. So we are really as a backbone in the middle of a combination of uh, modal uh, optimization and this is for us very very important.